Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another online yoga practice. I'm really excited about this one. This is a short and sweet, cozy morning yoga for when you don't want to leave your pajamas. And we all have those mornings where you just roll out of bed, you've got grogginess, you've got sleep inertia, you don't really want to move, but you know your muscles need to have some form of opening. This is that practice. You don't have to get out of your jammies, you don't even have to leave your bed. You can have some gentle movements to just help wake up through the body without feeling like you've got to do anything too strenuous. This practice can also be done at the end of the day before bed if you fancy it. So I really hope you enjoy. Any questions, please leave me a comment. I always love to respond to comments and I really hope you enjoy. Namaste. Okay, welcome everybody. So we're going to start today seated and we're just going to really let ourselves get comfortable here. If you want to take a couple of moments to just really connect to the breath, maybe closing off the eyes, now's a wonderful time to do that and to set yourself an intention for the rest of your day today. So if you're practicing this first thing in the morning and you're just sinking in, maybe you'd like to inspire some feelings of energizing or creativity or discipline, depending on what you want from your day to day. And just let those feelings begin to sink in as we begin to gently connect to the breath, breathing in and out through the nose. And before we go too deep into any kind of movement, we're just gonna notice how we feel first thing today so how we feel through the physical body how you feel through the joints the muscles if there's any soreness or any tension that you can release there and then we're going to move a layer deeper into the more subtle the energetic body noticing if there's any feelings um, that feel perhaps a little bit stuck a bit stagnant or whether you're feeling a sense of spaciness through the mind a bit of grogginess especially if you're doing this first thing and just noticing how that feels within your body as opposed to judging or as being good or bad. And then we move even deeper into a layer of the emotional body, the mental body, and noticing how we feel within our minds today, whether the thought patterns are quite angry or whether they're feeling quite positive or whether they're feeling quite judgmental over the day. Just notice the thoughts and the recurring patterns through the mind and how you're feeling emotionally through the body. Remember that all these cycles we go through of emotions are completely natural. When we find the real benefit of yoga, we can begin to let go of those thought patterns, choose what works for us and let the rest go. So you can keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable here. We're just gonna start up with a little bit of gentle movement. So we're gonna start by interlacing the fingers behind the back, and we're just gonna take a little chest expansion. So you can draw those fists down and away to the earth, lift your heart, lift your chin, lift your chest, open through the front body. And then bringing your spine back to neutral, as we exhale, we're gonna bring the fist back towards the right hip. So just resting on top of the right hip bone here as your right elbow draws in towards the left. And if this feels good, you can stay here or you can release your left ear down towards your left shoulder and find a little bit of space through the side of the neck. Just notice how that feels, first thing. And then inhale, we're gonna come back to neutral, reach those fists back. And then as we exhale, we're gonna bring them over towards the left hip. So drawing that uh, left elbow in. Just finding that bit of space. If it feels nice, you can release your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Letting that left shoulder blade be heavy, creating space between the shoulders, the neck, all the way through to the space just below the ear. And noticing how it feels to breathe. As we inhale, bring ourselves back through center, reach those fists back. And as we exhale, we're gonna to begin to fold forward, reaching those arms up and over. So maybe they just begin to peel off the lower back. They don't have to reach all the way down. Maybe your forehead or your chin reaches towards the earth. But remember, we're still warming up through the body here. So just finding a little bit of movement. And then as we inhale, lead with the fists, come all the way back up to an upright position through the spine, release the bind of the hands. And we're gonna take some nice seated cat cow with cactus arms. I find this really opens up through the heart in a nice way. 
So we're gonna inhale, we're gonna bring the arms into a cactus position, elbows bent, 19 palms open as we lift the chin, lift the chest, feel your heart expanding. And then as we exhale, we're gonna round the spine into kind of a cat pose as we bring the chin towards the chest, bring the palms of the hands together to touch. Inhale to lift open through the heart, bring your palms open, bring your shoulders back and away from the ears. And then as we exhale, we round. It's like you're scooping a big bowl in front of you. And now keep flowing with your breath in this way. One more round. Inhale, come back to neutral. Release your hands down by the side. Bring your right hand behind your right hip and then your left hand over towards your left knee. Uh, sorry, your left hand over towards your right knee. And then as you exhale, twist, looking out over your right shoulder. Keep your left shoulder blade a little bit soft and if the binds are feeling nice this morning, you can bring your right hand over towards your left thigh. This helps to create a slightly juicier stretch through the spine. Just noticing how it feels to breathe in this twist. As we inhale, release the bind of the hands and come all the way back as we switch. So bring the right hand towards the left knee. Left hand can just be behind your hip as you gently twist into the spine. If the binds are feeling good, you can bring your left hand towards your right thigh. And just noticing how it feels to breathe. As we gently stretch out all of those muscles that surround the ribs, depending on how you sleep, sometimes the front side of the body can be quite tight when we wake up, especially if you, like me, tend to sleep a bit more in the fetal position. So it's nice to open up gently. When you're ready, inhale, just make your way back through center. And we're gonna come up to hands and knees and we're gonna take a nice heart melting pose. Always a lovely one first thing in the morning. So just knees underneath your hips, take a breath in. As we exhale, walk your hands forward, palm shoulder distance are a little bit wider. And as we're finding a nicer stretch today, it might feel nice to bend the elbows and bring the thumbs towards the back of the neck to take a deeper stretch to the triceps. And then extending your arms out long, gently, we're gonna walk our way all the way back up. Lovely, and we're gonna come into a low lunge. So you're welcome to come at this from a down dog if you find it preferable. Otherwise, we're just gonna step that right foot forward, find a nice uh, side to side motion just to really allow those hips to gently open. And you're welcome to stay here in a runner's lunge with the hands to the either side of the right foot. Otherwise, we can come up into a low lunge. And if you have a block or a support, you're welcome to bring your right hand down towards the block. Otherwise, you can just let your right arm be heavy. If it feels nice, you're gonna inhale, reach your left arm up, and then bending at the elbow, bring the palm of the left hand towards the back of the neck as we gently side stretch over towards the right. Let those hips sink low. And this powerful side body stretch. As we inhale, we make our way up. It might feel nice to reach through the arms. Just take a little heart opener here. And then as we exhale, plant the hands down to either side of the right foot. And we're just gonna move into a half splits. So you can take this slightly more dynamically, just gently opening up through those hamstrings. And remember, you can always bring your hands to blocks if it feels good for a bit more support. Play around with the pointing and the flexion of those right toes. And maybe we hold here for just a couple breaths in stillness. And 
and gently bringing the right knee forwards, come back to low lunge, and we're gonna make our way into a, a, a pigeon pose, excuse me. So heel toe the right foot over towards the left wrist as you release your right knee down, and then you just charge that left leg back so your hips can release down either to the block or towards the earth. If you have a cushion or if you're doing this from your bed, you can also use that, it's fantastic. I'm gonna take it slightly differently today. We're gonna take a little snaking um, pigeon, which I really enjoy. So we're gonna turn the fingers nice and wide to either side of the hips, and we're just gonna start with a little back bend. So lift your chin, lift your chest, open your heart, see if you can find a bit of extension here through the spine. And then as we exhale, we're gonna come forwards, and we're just gonna snake from side to side. So it's a little movement into the shoulders, and eventually we come all the way down. And then once you come down, you can kind of ride the wave all the way up the spine. Lift your chin, lift your chest. As we exhale, once again, just kind of sneaking your way down, noticing if there's any points along this transition that feel especially nice. And you're welcome to hold there for a little bit longer. Come all the way up slowly. Head is the last thing. And we'll do that one more time. Trying to let those hips be heavy and level so your left hip is down and in line with your right. And inhale, we're gonna come all the way back up again. Just again, option to find a little back bend if it feels nice. And then if they're not already, we're just gonna roll the right sit bone down to the earth so that you can turn and open to the left side of the yoga mat. So I'm gonna turn and face you so you know what's going on. And we're gonna come into Janu Shirsasana or a variation of Janu Shirsasana. So we're just gonna let that right heel draw towards the groin as that left leg extends at a slight angle from the body. And from here, we're gonna come into some nice movements to open up through those hips. So you can just walk the hands from side to side, almost like you're tracing a little circle with the body. Maybe it feels nice to add in some more powerful movements to the arms, to the shoulders. And one of my favorite poses, which you're welcome to include if you'd like, is to use the hands to help elevate those hips. And I find that this creates a beautiful stretch through the entire front side of the body. But if this is too energizing for you, first thing, you can skip it. Just work on those circles. And then when you come back through center, just gently sit those hips down. If it feels nice on your exhalation, you can just walk those hands forwards. So you'll probably be facing a weird angle on your yoga mat and that's fine. Just wherever you are, just gently beginning to hinge just a little bit, noticing the stretch through the hamstrings of the left leg, through the inner right thigh. And then when you're ready, you're gonna come back up. You're gonna turn back to face the front of the mat. So almost like you're coming back through pigeon. And you're just gonna tuck the left toes under, make your way into either down dog or tabletop, depending on what you did on the first side. And then we're gonna bring the left foot through to the space between the hands. So starting in our runner's lunge, just gently opening up those hips. Let's see how that feels. And you're welcome to use blocks here, especially if your hips are a little bit tight first thing. Uh, if you will feel good, you can come up to high lunge, oh, sorry, low lunge, either interlacing your fingers over the left thigh, or if it feels good, you can release your left hand down to the block or to the earth if it reaches. And moving into a side stretch, if it feels good, reach those right fingertips up. As you exhale, you have the opportunity to bend the right elbow as you gently side stretch over towards the left. So this is a powerful stretch through the entire right side. Keep your navel drawn gently in and up to support the lower back so you don't get any back pain here. And this can also be done with your left forearm to the left thigh. As we inhale, come up, it might feel nice to reach both arms up, just a little expansion through the center of your chest. And then as we exhale, frame the left foot as we work our way back into our half splits. So we work the left leg towards straight, left toes can be pointed or flexed. And I really encourage a little bit of movement here, so just forward and back. This can be especially nice if you're working with any muscle soreness. You're also welcome to just hold statically. Just 
let your breath regulate. And then gently making your way back to runner's lunge. We're gonna come into pigeon. So heel toe the left foot over towards the right wrist as you release the left knee down. And then from there, you can charge your right leg back to the point where your left sit bone releases down to the block cushion or towards the earth. And we're gonna take our variation of pigeon. So we're gonna take it slightly different today. So we're gonna tent those fingers slightly wider than the hips. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Find a little back bend here. And hopefully this feels nice, if a bit energizing. And then as we exhale, make sure you tent those fingers nice and wide. We're gonna kind of snake our way down. And you're welcome to hold in any positions that feel like a nice release. And we're gonna come up like a wave. So your head is the last thing to come up. Exhale, begin to kind of shimmy down, bring the movement into the shoulders if that feels nice. Inhale, roll up like a ragdoll. Exhale, last one. Inhaling. And this time, if it feels nice, you can take a little back bend again. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Bring yourself back to neutral. Sit the left hip down to the side as we revolve into our Janushasana on the other side. So just finding that gentle angle. And we're gonna take those, those same circles on the other side. So you can just draw the arms into little circles, semicircles. Find that this feels really nice for just gently waking up through the arms, through the shoulders, as well as finding soft mobility through the hips. But if you feel good here, you can begin to find a little bit more movement sweeping the arms. Imagine you're just kind of clearing any of that bad energy <laughs> that you brought with you from the, the night before. Just get rid of that. And you can use the hands to help elevate those hips on either side, one side, both sides. Or a combination. And then just gently bring yourself back to neutral. And then you can just hold here with your hands in front or gently walk your forearms forwards. Feeling that gentle release through the right hamstring. And when you're ready, walk your hands back up. Squaring yourself back to the front of your mat almost back through pigeon. And this time we're just gonna sit the uh, left hip down and come to a cross legs position at the front of the mat. And we're just gonna take our, ourselves into our final closing practice. So you can just rest one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Just take a nice deep breath in, full breath in. Feel the chest, the ribs, the low belly expanding. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Rest your hands to your knees or onto your lap. Let the shoulders be soft. Just notice the shift of energy perhaps since the beginning of our practice. Notice how we feel through the physical, energetic and emotional bodies. And in a moment of stillness, I invite you to reaffirm or reassess whether the, uh, the intention that you set yourself at the beginning of your practice continues to serve you today and continue to breathe. If you would prefer at this point to take a traditional Shavasana, you're welcome to, especially if you're actually practicing this, practicing this at night, it could be a really nice way of um, moving into sleep. However, if you've got a busy day ahead of you, uh, it might be nicer to take your rest from seated to avoid bringing that grogginess back. So I stay here for as long as you need today, maybe some quiet reflection and journaling would be a wonderful way to transition now into the rest of your day ahead. However you spend your day, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I will hope to see you very soon. Thank you all so much for joining me today. As you go forward, I wish you peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste.